so in previous class or in previous lecture we saw that uh, the values of beta alpha and how to compute this and based on values of beta and alpha how can we comment on the size of the form whether a form is too large too small or it is an ambiguous case in the case for form number 1 where beta and alpha both are greater than 1 or 1 is less than alpha and beta we saw that the form is small form is too small okay. now we want to compute the alpha beta and the size of form for all the 99 observations that we have so what we would do is we would use visual basic or macros command and find out whether each form is operating at right scale or not so we go to the developer tab we click on insert button and active x command button and we draw a command button here when we double click on this we will get this window of visual basic application okay i'll just Okay. Now what we want here is what we want here is say observations. That is the number of forms. We want the values of rho, alpha, and beta, and size of the form. so let us first start with rho alpha and beta using this command button so we have 99 units so we would compute for unit is equal to 1 2 and we would specify where the unit is so range G two contains unit, so G two is equal to unit. We are going to solve using solver, so solver sol user finish is equal to true. Now, what output we want? so in o starting from cell number 2 so o and unit plus 1 we want values of rho which is in g4 so range o and unit plus 1 we want values of the row which is in g4 in p we want values of alpha alpha is given in g10 so range p and unit plus 1 we want alpha which is given in g10 range q in q we want beta so q and unit plus 1 we want values of beta and beta is in cell g8 before going to next unit what we need to do is we need to clear up weights and row so we will set initial values of weights the range of weights is f2 to f100 full stop value 
is equal to zero. Similarly, value of rho it is given in G four. So range and G four. Full stop. Value is equal to zero. So before and then next unit. So before going to next unit, what it would do? It's it would start from unit number one. Do the solver and uh, fill up the values. And before going to the next unit, it would clear up the values of unit uh, that is weight. Sorry, weights and row. And then it would do computation for next unit. So before we click. Uh, an important check go to tools references and click on solver and click okay only then it will give us the values close the design mode and click on command button and we would start getting values of rows alpha and beta so it would take a while to get all the values so let us wait till we get all the values So we have all the values of rho, alpha, and beta. Now, on the basis of this, we need to decide the size of the form. So a form can either be an MPSS, it can be small, it can be large, or it can be an ambiguous case. So let us see how these conditions we can use using Excel. How we can find the scale or size of this form. So there are different kinds of form. Large, small, ambiguous, and MPSS most productive scale size. So there are forms who are large, forms small, ambiguous, and most productive forms. Let us give this code one two three, and let us give MPSS as nine ninety nine. Now we are going to use if and end command to in to insert all these conditions. Okay, so if a form is too small, alpha and beta would be less than one. Sorry, alpha and beta one would be less than alpha and beta if the form is too small. Beta less than alpha less than one if the form is too large. Beta less than one less than alpha star in ambiguous case, and apart from all these three cases, it would be an MPSS. If and we would use if and end command. If beta is less than one and alpha is less than one. Then the form is large. For large, we use code one. If and if beta is greater than one and alpha is greater than greater than one, in that case, form is small. We use code number two for small forms. If and beta is less than one, alpha is greater than one. In that case, form is ambiguous. We use command, or we use the code three. In all other cases, it is nine ninety nine, which is MPSS. Close the bracket. So. For form number one, it is two. That is, form number one is too small. Similarly, we have computed for all. This nine ninety nine stands for MPSS, where alpha and beta both are one. Okay, so we have different kinds of form, which are large, small. We can also specify using VLOOKUP. We need to see these values of size or the codes. In this table, we fix the table. 
by pressing F4. We need to look this values and column number two of this table. So number two, and since we are looking for exact match, it is false. So firm number code two is for small, 999 is for MPSS, three is for ambiguous. There are firms which are large. The code for large firm is one. So we have all the firms, the classification of all the firms as small, large, ambiguous, or MPSS. So in this way, we can comment whether a form is operating at a smaller size, whether a form is too small, or it is too large, or it is at the right size, MPSS, or it is ambiguous, or it is difficult to comment.